Hey you right guys, Trey from Witches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 5 of Grey's Anatomy Season 3. Last episode we had Derek calling things off with Meredith which was wild, I don't know why that happened but he's sacked that one off uh, <laughs> which is, which is kind of hilarious but the Izzy met up with Danny's dad, we've got Burke who's still struggling of course as well so I think all the storylines are pretty decent uh, so far with the beginning of this season so yeah episode 5 I'm assuming those stories will continue so if you enjoy make sure to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and the early and uncuts will of course be on Patreon down below where they will be on episode they're, uh, I think they're a little bit uh, further uh, that wasn't English but I think they're a little bit further ahead than 10 episodes so I want to say they'll be on about episode 17 or something like that uh, so yeah if you want to join us down below but for now Let's do this. First, do no harm. Oh, she's buzzing now. She's like, yeah, As I'm rich. As doctors, we pledge to live by this oath. Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. I'm a millionaire. Fruit? Huh? I can't believe she's a, just a millionaire now. I could buy a hotel. How much do you think a hotel costs? <gasps> Is it? On rail. Eight million. Eight million dollars does not like to have juice spilled out. You have to. Yeah, calm down. i in the house. I will. As soon as I clean out my locker. I am fine. And Danny can't exactly write out another one if they lose that one. I bet that happens. Unless he has a will. That kind of money? I'm buying my own hospital and stuck it full of sick people. Valvuloplasties and ruptured aneurysm. She actually would as well. And I'm not going to make him feel guilty. I mean, I am being an adult here. And I am not going to drag him into our whole... Heard this a billion times, Meredith. Well, that's your boyfriend. I mean, we knew it was leading to I this, but do not have a boyfriend. Yeah, you definitely don't have a boyfriend. Wait, wait, wait. We we get to go to Eminem, even if we haven't finished our rounds. Yeah, even if Eminem's here, what the hell? Try a little sugar water on the bottom, just uh, yeah, until he gets you. She hates her baby. Eminem, insults flying, residents covering their asses, our boss getting kicked in the teeth instead of us. Yeah, even I kind of want to see this actually. Callie. Hey. Where were you last night? Hi. I love you. What? She's gonna start whipping that out now. Alex is saving us a bunch if you want to sit with us. No. He's gonna start trying now. Ugh. Too little, too late, bro. Bye. Larry Bird. Patient 34986 died last month from complications following a heart transplant. Um. Burke will present. Yeah, so anyway, it is not here, that's good. This is patient 34986. Danny, Danny, yes. Eight million, dollars. Eight million dollars could get us on a plane to somewhere far, far away. If Izzy doesn't want that eight mil, I'll take it, because I feel like she's going to rip it up. I'm getting that vibe. Uh, yes, let's get back to this uh, patient's need for an emergent transplant. Oh, he's got the glasses on, this guy. Had been weakened by the LVAD malfunction? Malfunction sabotage. Come on, Dr. Burke. We all know the LVAD was cut by an intern. No, 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 no. That, that, that didn't happen. It remains unclear to you because you're in the ER with a gunshot wound. Why aren't we hearing from Dr. Bailey? Dr. Burke has summarized the medical facts of this case. Are there any questions for me? Uh, quite a few. Dr. Bailey, how are you feeling in this present time of day? I missed the intro. I'm gonna, that'll be the last time I go on about it. But I will say, if you're going to get people invested in an intro, don't cut it out in the second season because it just breaks everyone's heart. I will never mention it again. Sleep deprivation coupled with wild swings in hormone levels are factors that could cloud anyone's judgment. I sleep just fine, Dr. Savoy. Really? Savoy? If due to my poor decision making, I'd probably lose at least a little sleep over it. Oh, bloody hell. Savoy's found his voice, hasn't he? Well, apparently, they thought it was okay to ignore your pages. Doctor, why do you think your interns have such contempt for your authority? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, 1v1? Like the Roman times. Please. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Watch it give the eight mil to that random doctor who's just on Malvin off, by the way. And the futon couch. Yes, Addison had a very ugly, very heavy futon couch. Whatever happened to that couch? We gave it to Mark. <laughs> ah. I'd like to keep my trailer in the land in Seattle. Addison can have the rest. Ooh, okay. Hold on. That's the house in Hamptons and the brownstone over in Central Park. Hmm? Fair That's enough. Thank you. Hold on. He's up to something. Oh. The divorce is my fault. Let me take responsibility. Mm. We both had affairs. You had a one-night stand with Mark. 
Derek, actually... Oh, I thought they slept together a few times. I must have missed that bit. I mean, they're sleeping together a few times now, so... We're in labs. Cure cancer. I'm fine. You're not going home. Either you hang out with us or we'll call your mother. <laughs> she wouldn't mind coming and staying with you all day. You wouldn't. Dial it. Whoa, hey, hey, okay. I'll just... Go hang out in the locker room. Go cash in your eight mil, please. Dr. Bailey, you understand? It's nothing personal. Yeah, I'm People sure. People talking about your hormone levels down. starts feeling pretty personal. Hey, Dr. Bailey. Look, you're the baby whisperer. Huh? Guess you drank the whole bottle. Hmm? You, you want to hold him? Uh, actually. I might have felt like that baby's up on the verge of throwing up. I know she likes you. Maybe you could talk her into it. Oh, no, no, it's not my job to talk her into anything. Maybe if she knew more about her reconstructive options. Um, I'll send our plastic surgeon up. <laughs> what? I oh, really go, I'm my missed. You know, doctor talk and all that. They respond to you as an authority figure. I mean, you're an example of what they should be. A leader. I'm glad to have you back, Preston. Thank you, Chief. Just be honest, he's not even satisfied being here, so why not just be like, yeah, I gotta dip, I gotta go work at Burger King or something, because this ain't working. And even then, he might flop around with trying to put the cheese on the bun and all that, so... How are you? Fine. How are you? Oh, Derek, stop looking at her like that, you're not even worthy at this point. Feeling well? Move on! No pain. And, um, it's just Montgomery now. What? My name. The divorce was finalised this morning, so... Montgomery. Oh, God, don't get Derek's logic. Oh, Adam, Bloody oh, hell. Whenever you move. Oh, keep your weight off my bad knee. What am I looking at? Oh, oh. oh my God. Had to go and get a piercing. Yeah. What? It's not like they're not going to find out. Meeting your husband for lunch with your ex-husband still attached. How long is this going to take? Because I oh. really don't want my husband finding out. Please, could you work out what? some small miracle? It's First of all, we have to figure out what the piercing is caught on. Okay. Oh. We've been divorced for five years. But we keep running into each other, you know? Yeah, apparently so. We get together sometimes. <clears throat> it's stupid and weak. Next. Next patient. Next patient. I don't want to these two too much. But, um... You, you might want to cancel your bunch plans. Well, fair enough. That m, m was... Yeah. Was knees weak, arms are heavy, vomit on his sweat already, mum's spaghetti. Wait, so, so what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I need time to think. you got to figure it out soon. People are going to start getting sus, suspicious. I'm rich now, too. You're not rich until you deposit the check. Do you ever yeah, feel correct. guilty? I'm sorry? Being rich, because I have all this money now, and I don't really feel like I did anything to deserve it, and I can't really talk to my friends about it because they're all so poor. Standing right here, is he? Call George Argus. Deposit the check, Stevens. Just start there, okay? And um, the guilt will work itself out. But deposit the check, please, before he gets destroyed. Why are you just everywhere? Yeah, He's like a worm. He's just. Worms aren't everywhere, but worms are kind of everywhere when you're out in the gardens. Yeah, I do. I... Oh. Yeah, divorce five years and still going at it like teens at the prom, so to speak. Mm. What's this sad, sorrowful music going on? Divorce. I heard because I'm working with your wife. Hmm. Ex-wife. It was time. Whatever. Good. You two. How's Finn? <laughs> But silicone has a more natural look and feel. I can deal with this right now. Diana, come on. Take two seconds, huh? You're the one who has to feel them, so you decide. I don't care. Dude, believe me, you care. Dr. Grant. Dude, he's right. Mr. Niles. Can you please tell her that she has to have the surgery? Please. Somebody has to tell her. Sure, bro. Did this for you, you know. You know, you've got to stop doing things for me. I'm with Tom now. Doesn't look like you're with Tom. Looks like you're on Neil's dick over here. What the hell? I still love you. Okay, I I'm in hell. Mom? I'm okay. Dad? Scratch that. Now no, I'm, in, I'm hell. in hell. Yep. 
All these useless patients doing her. Wait, is that what you call this, Mom? A mistake? <sighs> because I call this you, once again, being a slut. Hey, you oh. don't call me like that. I am your mother. Yeah, and what a great oh. woman turned out to be. Look at you. Well, it seems that your IUD has dislodged from your uterus, hooked onto your husband's piercing, and is embedded in your vaginal wall. Oh, God. Derek gave you the Hamptons, too? He still doesn't know the whole story, does he? No. And as long as you don't tell him, you get to be the good guy, and I'm just the chump who seduced his wife for the, the help. The chump. Real fair. They got some goofy ass music in this episode. I don't know what they're doing with it. I think Burke would want nothing you can get with money. He likes jazz. I can find him a CD, George. I'm a multimillionaire. I need to find <laughs> something big. Like a vinyl and go all out. Sorry. Why? It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> she said that so many times. I slept with another guy. Cool, all right. Straight up. I tell George. I, um, broke up with Finn. Do I tell Derek? Derek broke up with you, so just don't even bother. You owe him nothing. I have to tell George. Yes, you do have to tell George. No, don't stop it. And just stop. Will you at least talk to me? Oh, you leave me alone. <laughs> Bloody hell, I'm gonna die. And I know I haven't always been supportive. But being a parent makes you a better doctor. Is that just a fact, bro? What? Denny left me $8 million. $8.7 million to be exact. Did you know that he had money? Because I didn't know. No, I didn't know. <laughs> He's not bothered. I'm fine. Really, I am. I'm fine. Everyone thinks I'm not. Everyone thinks I'm... But I'm fine. You're you, fine. You keep saying you're fine. I'm fine. Constantly. Everything's fine. Is this app called I'm Fine? So... I got shot. I got shot because I was coming back to the hospital to check on Denny. Oh. Because you told me to. Uh. I'm not fine. Yeah. Denny asked you to marry him and now he is dead. You're not fine. Don't come in here. Fair enough. You quit. You quit being a surgeon. You have two good hands. And you aren't using them. Ooh. Feel guilty about that. Salty. I mean, you would be though. She's playing around with someone's life and then got him shot basically. She didn't shoot him directly, but I think she's looking for someone to blame though as well at the same time. Wait, what are you doing here? Oh, I heard about it. I had to see it. Did you? Did you have to see it? I lift his right leg 20 degrees. Oh my god. Ow! Ow! Freeze! Ow! Freeze! Hold that position. Okay, now, Dr. Gray. Can you kind of slowly swirl Mrs. Kelman in a counterclock? No, no. Can we do anything else but this? Can we watch Denny die again? That could be... I'm going to die. On the count of three, I want you to slowly, gently pull them apart. One, Don't. two, Don't. His dick's going to fly three. off. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, he's having a... So Heart attack! Oh, he's having a heart God. attack! Oh, God. I mean, cut loose! What is going on? Bro, I wanna he's die. His aorta. He's, he's dying! Aorta Bloody die. hell! Let this be a lesson to you all. Don't have sex. That's it. And if at any time during the procedure, if you try to oh, well. look at you, oh, okay. you'll know the slide in to do the sutures with practice. We're doing it. It's go time. I'm your intern. I will be there on your right side. I feel like it's going to work, but then they're going to try it again at some point and it's going to go wrong. Oh no, okay. And I wasn't going to tell Tom because it was never going to happen again. And then it happened again. And then it happened again. Yes. And again. And then somewhere along the way, I just stopped feeling guilty. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, if we're being honest. <sighs> Come on, you got this, bro. Dr. Burke, I know it's a lot to ask, but I would really appreciate it if you let me try my running whip stitch. Ooh, look at that. They can't keep doing this, though. This sucks. Christina gets sex and perks. <laughs> Maybe you should just apologize again, George. Yeah, because you're in a great position to give relationship advice. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, to be fair. Christina's doing a running whip stitch on the heart. What? All I can think about is getting to my baby. This is where you tell me to fight the cancer so I don't miss out on the joys of motherhood. Then I get home, <laughs> the baby's crying. The exhaustion hits, and I resent that tiny baby's presence in my house. Whoa, what? If I'm really tired and pissed off, I blame the baby. Ooh. What kind of mother blames her own baby for her cancer? A mother who's human. A mother who's overwhelmed. This is the part when I tell you to fight the cancer so that you don't miss out on the joys of motherhood. <laughs> you were about to say that. Look, I like that we're civilized. We're these adult grown people who can be divorced and friendly. We deserve a medal. <laughs> okay. It was a nice stand. <laughs> I, it wasn't a one night stand. I was in love with him. Oh, Jesus. Or at least I thought I was. After you left, we lived together for two months. Two? Jesus. He's Mark. And well, I caught him with someone else. And Oh. And then Richard called. Wow. We both had relationships with other people. We're both equally liable for everything so please take the browns down that's just messy all over them isn't it all i want is seattle i want seattle and i want never to see you again that's not gonna happen though so i want seattle you want an entire state is seattle a state <laughs> i just made that up no seattle is not a state it's in washington though Let's have a look. oh we're doing the elevator again oh my god you two are gonna kill me aren't you i broke up with Finn. He's gonna be like, I okay. don't give a bollocks about that. Cool. Then, okay. What? <sighs> I told you. You bloody two. Don't, they could just literally be together right now. And all I really want to do is a running whip stitch. My first year as an intern. Oh, she wants to come back, as I said. I called in a cold. By the time everyone got there, he was dead. If I'd put a chest tube in right away. You made a mistake. But I stayed. Richard, my boy. If I'd quit, all I would have had was that life that I lost. Instead, I get to save lives. Every day, I get to save lives. He makes points. As you could go on to save 10,000 lives, who knows? I've known you my whole life. I grew up with you, so I know what you're thinking. God, they were that old of friends. That there is a year of your life wasted. Trying to make it work with Addison, and you could have been with Meredith. A year? That you could be happy right now. That you and Meredith could have had a real chance. They still could... Still... Oh. I thought you should know the truth. Thought I owed you that. As a friend. But you didn't give him the truth. It, Mark's a dick. You grew up with him, and uh, if they were like mates for like a month, then it wouldn't be that. It would still be shit, but. Oh, you might want to leave now. I'm feeling a rush of hormones coming on, and there's no telling what I might do. <laughs> Run! She told me what she was going to do, but I didn't want to get involved. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything to stop her. You're all fine. I'm the only one. Alex. Thank you. Well, you got to be on there, George. A single condom. I got fried chicken. All that. Extra crispy. It was one or the other. Beetle jump. What? And beetle jump too. Oh. Right. What are these knockoff bargain bucket films? When I told you I was done trying to compete, that was me breaking up with you. No. Well, it was. No, I think I would notice that. Except you didn't. Which is why I broke up with you. <laughs> Got right. At least now you don't have to feel guilty anymore. 
and walk straight back to <laughs> uh, Of course. Walks all over the bloody place. Learn from the guilt. Please cash it in. And do your best to move on. Are you seriously not going to deposit that check? Oh my god. Some good needs to come from this money. Until I know what that good is, no. Ugh. I'm not depositing the check. Okay. She needs to save a life before she can. I, if I was Izzy, I would not give a shit. I would be cashing that in. Whatever. Do your thing. She's better than me, I guess. Because there's no way that's getting put up on a fridge. Waiting for the building to burn down and then it's gone forever. So have fun with that. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys. That is episode 5 of Grey's Anatomy Season 3. Top comment, Mark is so hot. OMG. And then the next comment after that, someone gave this episode a 2 out of 10. Another bloody Izzy episode. How long are we going to have to endure this crap? <laughs> uh, Alright, bro. It's not like she's like one-fifth of the main cast or whatever. And like she went through the biggest storyline at the end of season two. What's he on about? Um, but yeah, anyway, that was a good episode overall. I think every character kind of did... Well, not every character. I don't... Uh... I think some storylines, it's like, it's been five episodes now, like, with the Izzy thing, I think she's going back into work now, so I think that's, like, great timing. I I do think if, like, Izzy went on for another episode of, like, debating to go back to work or whatever, it would start to drag out a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I think it's now, like, the perfect time. And she's obviously still going to struggle with what happened with Danny and stuff, but she seems to be getting there a little bit more. Same with Burke, I think he's kind of in the same boat where he's kind of getting there a little bit, but something else is going to go wrong with Burke, I feel, um, at some point. George fumbled, Mark's hooking up with everyone, Derek fumbled, I don't know why he's, I don't know why those two just aren't together now, like it's done. She's single, he's single, the only reason that's stopping him is Derek doesn't want to hurt her. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's like the only thing, so that's, whatever. Um, Miranda was pretty good this episode, yeah, it was just, it was a good episode overall, nothing, um amazing but nothing really too bad either so we'll go a 7.3 out of 10 overall for this one guys thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed let me know if you thought the episode down below in the comments and i'll see you next time for episode 6 until then take care peace